Ten Worst Places to Live in England England prides itself as the best of the four constituent countries making up the UK. Granted, England is the home of London, the capital of the kingdom. Nevertheless, it's not everywhere in England that you'd love to live, and things may not be as good as they appear in pictures. There are terrible places as well in England. Cultures in certain places may shock you while you're still dazed in disbelief about the obnoxious attitude of some people. Here, we present for your consideration the 10 worst places to live in England. Oh, a quick one here. The listing here represents my personal opinion formed out of my own careful research, visits and inputs from friends and acquaintances with first-hand information about these places in England. 10. Middlesbrough Middlesbrough is a town in the northeast of England, located on the River Tees. It's an industrial town on the northeast coast, which is definitely one of the 10 worst places. And it has a lot of reasons to fight for on this list. Consider this. Why does Middlesbrough always get bad press? Well, many people consider it the worst place to be a girl in the country. Even though the die-hard residents will explain the drawbacks and rationalise, the town that voted massively in favour of Brexit was reportedly pressured into cutting about 5,000 jobs from its steel industry over the last decade. Now, would you consider the town that has the fourth highest unemployment rate in the UK a good place to live and probably be among the 10% jobless residents? Its idleness shoots up the violence rates as well. 9. Oldham Oldham is another not-so-good town in the north. Well, you certainly won't have a hard time agreeing that this is one of the worst places even in the UK. Corroborating that, the Office of National Statistics once announced it as Britain's most deprived town. According to one resident, Oldham looks as though the government has been performing nuclear testing in the area. The town, with a population of 96,420, is still struggling to maintain its reputation as the centre for further education and performing arts, with some barely surviving cotton mills and other buildings associated with that industry. 8. Stevenage A life lacking civility, respect and prospects is in order in Stevenage, one of the 10 worst places to live in England. The new town in North Hertfordshire, which is a part of London's commuter belt, is not one filled with happy people. Residents merely get by with a certain bland and tasteless lifestyle they consider boring, grey, uneducated and unwelcoming. They're simply fed up with their homes, and that explains why Stevenage has been for too long given a bad name throughout Hertfordshire. However, the fantastic transport link it has to London fills it with the overspill from London. And this means more residents and more housing needs. Services are becoming consequently very strained. Unfortunately, that higher demand raises prices, including accommodation costs here. While we decry the lack of love in this town, there's one more negative side about Stevenage. It tops the teen pregnancy rate in the Hertfordshire statistics. 7. Blackpool the case of Blackpool, a resort town in Lancashire located in northwestern England and on the Irish Sea, is more than a town having fairly good and bad areas. It's among the worst places to live in England. Though famous for its tower, lights and pleasure beach, it's the poverty kingdom. You'll observe a very run-down area as you're getting away from the front. A resident claimed that when you go back a few streets from the prom, you'll witness deprivations, ghettos and the scummy pubs that characterise Blackpool. That's why, despite being one of the most popular seaside resorts in the UK, the number of visitors continues to drop. If you're thinking about living in the UK, this is one of the worst places to contemplate, even though it has a zoo, a model village and gardens, and the Sandcastle water park. 6. Gravesend This is another very bad place to live in England. The town in northwestern Kent, England, on the bank of the Thames River, opposite Tilbury, Essex, is living up to its name. You don't hear the name Gravesend and draw an image of some idyllic town. The volume of bad reviews the town's having is counting it among the 10 worst places to live. Gravesend is educationally backward, apparently. Even though it has rail and road transport systems, the operations are not robust enough to facilitate movements and can't provide solid transport and support for the economy. Residents are listing their homes in markets so that they can move to more affluent areas. 5. Luton Back in 1938, when Luton Airport was one of Britain's major airports and when the Luton Town FC had several successful spells in the league, hardly anyone could have imagined that the town of Luton would ever be one of the 10 worst places in England. But now, perhaps the only remaining thing going for the town, situated within the historic county of Bedfordshire, is its closeness to the M1, which provides a fast exit, thanks to the three motorway junctions and two railway stations. 
The poor state of the town may also be connected to its being an administratively independent unitary authority. This somehow stifles the development in this populous town of some 220,000 residents. As the most populous town in Bedfordshire, it's one of the largest in the UK without city status. 4. Bradford We've had enough of Bedfordshire. We find the next one of the worst places to live in England in a city in West Yorkshire, namely Bradford. Ironically, a city known internationally as a centre of wool textile and a city of the Industrial Revolution, it has no business being among the worst places. However, only 65% of its residents are really employed. So what do you expect in a city where 35% of residents aren't productively engaged? This explains why it's perceived as a city of extremes, of violent crime, burglary, sexual crime and murder. All these are above the national average. No wonder a resident describes the city as literally hell on earth. This populous city has issues with drugs, alcohol and gangsterism in public places. 3. Rochdale Rochdale is another large town in Greater Manchester. As you can sense from its name, it's connected with the River Roch, actually located as the Dale of the River. Think of the implication of it being situated at the foothills of the South Pennines, about 5.3 miles northwest of Oldham and 9.8 miles northeast of Manchester. The home of equitable pioneers that first operated with the principles of the modern cooperative had negative reviews by most of those who had been there. The administrative centre of the Metropolitan Borough of Rochdale has shown no remarkable departure from the lifestyle of 1844, when the Rochdale Society of Equitable Pioneers was founded. It's so bleak that a frustrated resident commented, leave fast or stay forever. 2. Hartlepool Bearing the identifying mark of the entire headland, the town, doubling as a seaport in the northeast of England, is never the kind of place to live in if you're not condemned to be there. Looking at these statistical figures of the place, you'll see how economically deprived the area has been and how hard it is to land a job there. You'll also not be surprised that it has one of the lowest home ownership rates in the country. A few years ago, when the residents were polled, respondents rated their health worse than the national average in England. The town is also 20% less in the population of professionals with administrative and managerial skills. 1. Peterborough Peterborough again! When will this Cambridgeshire town earn a very good reputation for itself as a good place to live? If you get carried away by the fact that the 12th century cathedral, Burghley House and other heritage sites find their home in Peterborough, you may become indifferent. Why then are the negative reviews by the residents? One of them described their home as the biggest dump in England. He lamented the atmosphere in Peterborough as draining, making you feel completely isolated from the rest of the world and alienated from life in general. As hard as it is to describe the sordid situation in the town, you'll be made to feel that everything else is moving while you remain stagnant and stuck in the dump. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.